Hi there, I'm just going to review some capacitive styluses. Uh, I'm using a QME projector and I'm actually recording and trying this on the playbook all at the same time. So, uh, first thing I'm going to try is actually the, the usual finger. We're going to try and see how well one can draw using just a finger. I have a Targus um, capacitive stylus with a rubber tip and the focus will be on the DAGI or D-A-G-I capacitive styluses. This is the P004 and you look, notice the tip is very pen-like and there's a dot at the end so you can, or you can see through it so you can know exactly where it is that you're writing. This is the P005 from DAGI. Uh, it's got a red dot in the center so you can see through to see where you're writing. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of give, it's one solid piece. And then the P501, which has a little bit of a, has a little bit more give when you press down on it. Uh, quite a nice stylus. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and um, draw using the skit application. So here's a skit application, um, unzoomed and I'm just going to try uh, first of all to, to draw a circle, a triangle and then to to write and draw a few things on here so I'm going to try and keep all the circles the same length uh, the same, sorry, the same radius so this is with my finger uh, it's not too easy to do because I can't see through my finger if I write oops if I want to keep it two squares high, or if I want to handwrite, you can do it with your finger. It's a little, little difficult. Or if I want to draw a diagram for, say, a physics problem, it's not bad. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice. So that's using the finger. If you use the stylus, the um, the target stylus, I'll try the same thing, drawing a circle. Oops. It's not bad, I can't really see exactly where I'm writing because the, the tip actually covers it. Uh, oops. Okay, this is supposed to be too high, so it's it's a little more difficult. It takes a little bit more practice. Um, you know, drawing a diagram. Say you're taking notes in a class. Uh, it's a little trickier. Not as clean. So this is with the target stylus, which I think is quite commonly used by uh, a lot of people. Um, I have also found that the application, depending on what application it is, you could be more or less successful uh, using these and um, and also uh, different, uh, like an iPad and a playbook, they all respond slightly differently. Right now I'm going to try a P005, that was the one with the, very, with the solid body and uh, that's the one that looks like this and let's just draw a circle again. Now because I can see through to the dot oops, it's, it's not bad. I have to go a little bit slower um, so I can pretty successfully draw it. Uh, here's a name. Okay, I can because I can see through it's a little easier to make sure that it hits the top and the bottom so it's not bad. Oops. So if I do miss, I can also go back. Um, because there's no give on this, it does feel a little odd when you're writing. Okay. So again, uh, it doesn't quite glide the same as a pen, so it's, it seems a little bit trickier to Oops, I did that diagram wrong, but it gives you the idea. So, 
Also, you notice on the handwritten E, uh, it didn't quite capture the curve. The, um, the Daggy P501 is this one. has a little bit more give. Let's see if that helps. And again, because you can see through to the red dot, it makes it a little bit easier, I think, to, to make sure that you start and end at the right spot. So here's my circle. I'm not very good at drawing circles, unfortunately. Uh, works pretty well. It uh, feels a little bit easier because it, there's a little bit of give. Uh, so, does a pretty reasonable job. Oops, I'm not sure. So I'm able to stay within the lines. I'm able to draw a nice diagram. Okay, it wasn't quite quite as good, but because it has a give, it just feels a little more natural. I can go a little bit faster as I'm drawing, doing the diagram. Um, the last one, which is my favorite, is this one. This is the P504 from Daggy, and it feels the most pen-like when I draw. Um, I'm actually, it's f it's almost exactly like me writing on paper because I can see right through uh, where the pen, where you know it look where normally the tip of the pen would be is really where I contact. It feels very pen-like. Uh, feels very smooth to write on. Um, so again, um, you can see that when I'm drawing, it just feels a little more natural. So out of all of the uh, various options, uh, my favorite is this particular Daji. Um, AccuPen. Now the, the problem with the, these model numbers, they don't show the model numbers, but this is the P504, but just double check on the internet, but it's the one that looks like this. It's awesome. Um, it's great on the playbook. Uh, works well on the iPad too, I've tried it, so it's, it's, a, it's a great, great pen.